Hi everyone, it's Kiri here with another layer for Bramble Fox. And for this layer, I'm using three new sets in the shop. The first one is the One Fine Day, and I use the Today and Photo Perspectives. Then the Flutterby Pastel set, and finally the Enjoy Yourself set. I just use the arrow from that one, and you can see them um, all over there to the left of the video. Um, okay, so I'm using the really pretty Prima Spring Abstract um, collection, and I have this paper here, but I wasn't sure how I was going to use it because it felt like I was going to put the photo to the bottom and it felt like lots of white space so I've actually trimmed a piece off the top and then I'm looking here at then adding it to the bottom underneath the floral cluster um, and I really sort of liked how that how that was looking so I'm playing around here with the perspectives I'm going to use photo for my title I'm going to call it photo booth and the arrow and then I've got today which I'm going to sort of use as part of my in my embellishments and I'm going to use quite a few of the very pretty pastel butterflies and dragonfly in and around my, uh, the flower um, pattern paper. So here I am I've just pulled out some of the um, ephemera the matching ephemera from the collection I'm just working out what I'm going to do now change of plan you can see here I had I was I left my layout with the pink down the bottom and I just I wasn't sure it felt all just a bit pale a bit pink I just wasn't liking it and overnight I just before I, before I went to bed I actually turned the paper over and thought oh, I quite like the pop of sort of mustardy yellow so I came back to it the next day and was like yep that's exactly what I want to do so that's what I've done and I've attached it to the bottom of the um, floral paper and now I'm just going to add my square photo I've already mounted it actually on some navy tissue I just wanted something a little darker to um, lift it up from the background so I'm bringing back in the floral clusters and you can see me here I'm just sort of curving the edges um, you know when I stick my ephemera down I never stick it down completely flat I only add a bit of sort of glue or tape into the middle of the um, ephemera and um, and stick it down and that way I can still get that sort of dimension on the um, individual pieces. Now I'm pulling in here a few little uh, die cuts and they were using some new dies that I got from the um, version scrap show that um, we all went to in Paris very recently so I'm sure you've probably seen quite a few of the photos. Um, as this one is here um, of four of us um, there were eight of us but this was four of us at the photo booth and obviously put eight scrapbookers um, into a room where there's a photo booth and it will definitely get used um, we had quite a lot of fun with that so um, anyway so yeah I'm using some of these lovely new um, the little dies that I had um, okay so I'm sort of getting everything stuck now down now just making sure I'm happy with the placement but I'm just really sort of bringing the floral element down um, from the pattern paper background um, and creating a border running along either side of my photo um, so I'm um, just going to get that and there's actually with the ephemera there's a really pretty silver uh, metallic foiling on the on them as well so it's and that's what you're seeing there's a bit of glare occasionally and that's what you're seeing it's a silver foiling detailing just decided I needed one extra leaf and I am just trimming off some of the excess white border sometimes I find on the ephemera that the white borders are quite wide and I don't really like that so I do tend to sort of trim it off I know it's a bit of extra work but I'm I do quite like a bit of fussy cutting so that's okay um okay I've got a few more of these little die cuts I'm just adding those in they're just um just to, again add a little bit more texture um and dimension around the flowers the flower pattern that we've got there and then I can start to bring in all of the lovely perspectives um and build those into the floral um floral area and as my title so the today is going to sit up there on the left where I have it got the photo down there playing with this arrow I was fiddling around with it for a while couldn't quite decide but I do have I do end up with it sitting down the bottom and then I'm just getting the butterflies set in and around there's there in a the lovely lilac there's a really pastel pink um there's a sort of a more translucent pastel pink and um, was they were perfect with the papers that I'm using. So I'm just getting the perspectives, sorry about my head, getting those perspectives stuck down now. So 
We've got a butterfly's um, coming out from the top of the photo and then just to the side. There's a couple more little flowers I'm just sort of adding in here, a couple within that sort of mustardy yellow and the pink fiddling around, trying to decide where they're going to go. Love this little lilac dragonfly. So that's sitting up at the top there. Another butterfly there. Um, but um, don't forget to pop on over to the Ramble Fox co.uk shop where you will find these new sets and lots more new goodies um there are more eggs adding more and more different types of things that are perfect for embellishing and adding a little bit of extra detail to your layouts um, so you know keep an eye out on the shop for um, more new goodies coming all the time okay so now i'm adding the booth here so i'm going with photo and as i said booth is my other word and I start off with this these alphas but I do change my mind actually and that will come in I think in the final photos I change it to a slightly different um, alpha it's raised and it's more metallic because I quite liked it to be a bit more silvery to match the full detail um, on the pattern papers okay I'll get my perspective stuck down so this is photo and I'm just using glossy accents like I always do because it gives it a nice strong hold oops I think I left my glue open so it's a bit clogged. There we go. Got that going now and I can get that stuck down and then I can get the arrow on and we're, we're almost done actually. We're pretty much coming to the end. I do add a little bit of journaling along under the um, floral clusters on the left and then I add a little detail to the top because I felt like I needed something else at the top of the layer and I do just tear the paper at the top and back it with a, another piece of um, pattern paper and then I just add a couple of violets and tie through some um, thread. So that's my journaling and here we go. Oh, I'm looking at the chipboard. I don't actually add any of the chipboard um, elements. I felt like I'd had enough enough with the um, dimension by adding the perspectives. So um, here we go, just working out what I'm gonna do here, but I think we'll come to the end and you'll see how it looks in the close-ups. There we go, um, final layout. So that little bit of detail up the top. Okay, um, and here you'll see some of the lovely perspectives in the close-ups. I hope you've enjoyed watching my process video and I will see you again in another video very soon. Bye for now.